Hi everybody, it's Nancy from NatureWorks. It is the first Saturday morning that NatureWorks is open for the season. What a beautiful day. I wanted to talk to you today about some of the ground covers that just came in. I've been helping some customers that took my class at Master Gardeners last weekend about gardening with layers of plants and reducing your mulch and planting more ground covers. And even on our second day open, we have enough ground covers to really get the ball rolling. I've kind of divided them into native ground covers on the top shelf, non-native ground covers on the bottom shelf, shade ground covers on this side, and sunny ground covers on this side. So I thought it would be fun to just see what you can put in right now. It's not too early. The ground is perfectly happy for, for putting in perennials. This is one of the best ground covers for a woodland garden. This is Phlox Stolonifera Sherwood Purple. And you can see it says Treadwell. That's a, a brand that we love to carry that, that really goes into uh, all the different plants that you can use as ground covers. And they tell you which ones are good to walk on and which ones are good for sun and shade. So it's a fabulous line of plants. But this is a Stolonifera plant. It hits the ground in roots. And this is Chrysogonum or Golden Star. This is one of my absolute favorite ground covers. I asked one of my um, employees, Rebecca, what, who, ha who has a garden in the shade with a lot of deer. I said, what's your favorite? She said, number one, Chrysogonum, Golden Star. Gorgeous, gorgeous ground cover. So sun or shade. Sun or shade, exactly. This is Bearberry Arctostophilos. Now, Arctostophilos is semi-woody ground cover. It's like a low shrub gets flowers and little berries. This likes sun and it likes really well-drained or sandy soil. And then this is good old fashioned creeping phlox or may pinks. And that's native also. That won't be blooming for a little while, but this is also good for full sun. On the bottom, we've got some shady ground covers that are non-native. Um, a juga is one of my favorites. I love the way I can just plant this underneath plants and it just covers the ground and the benefit to pollinators is they get these really beautiful flower spikes in April and that's one of the first things the bees will come to. This is a really fun variety. It's called chocolate chip. Look at the shape of the leaves. These are variegated forms. So with Juga, some people go, oh, it spreads too much. That's my goal is I want spreading because I'd rather have plants than put down mulch. This is sweet woodruff. Sweet woodruff is a ground cover for shade. It's also an herb. You make May wine out of the leaves. It has little white flowers in May. It's a really vigorous ground cover. So that'll cover the ground really quickly. This I talk about all the time. It's one of the first ground covers to bloom. This is Veronica Georgia Blue. It's actually from Russia. So you can see it's very, very hardy. The flowers really are the bluest of the blue. And um, the foliage turns burgundy in the fall and remains burgundy all winter, going back to green now. So it's a really good ground cover. And you can see you could buy it in smaller pots or larger pots. And finally, this is Sedum Angelina, which I love to see with the Veronica Georgia Blue. This is a really pretty ground cover that's a succulent for full sun. Another thing that's really neat about Angelina is that in the um, winter time, it does not disappear. Instead, it turns kind of a coral orange color. I have it in one of my troughs in my courtyard, and it's actually really pretty. The sun melts, and there it is. So ground covers are very, very useful as a layer in your garden. And to understand how you might use them, you might take shade ground covers such as these, an underplant, an upright plant, such as this beautiful hellebore, and then cover the ground around it with ground covers that take the same conditions. And if you do that, after a couple of years, the ground covers will knit together, and come the spring, instead of having to mulch, all you have to do is put in a few more ground cover plants. So it's a really cool concept, and this is just the tip of the iceberg of ground cover plants that we're getting in. There's also a um, dedicated page on our website about ground covers. It has pictures and lists and a little bit more information. So I hope that you're going to come and visit us. We're open now Wednesday through, or Tuesday through Saturday. From Wednesday. 10, Wednesday. Wednesday to Saturday, 10 to 5. We'll be open more after Easter, but that's our hours right now, our open days. And our shop is open for shopping. We're allowing four people in at a time. You do have to wear a mask. 
but not when you're doing a video. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Nancy from Nature Works saying happy spring. Can't wait to see you here at the garden center. Bye.